Israel promised to show no mercy and for a third day the bombs fell. This is the Interior Ministry in Gaza, one of the overnight targets. The extent of the damage here, an indication of the force of Israel's bombardment. From early morning, Israeli tanks and heavy artillery gathered at the border with Gaza. 16,000 Israeli reservists have now been called up for a possible ground assault. Israel says the hail of Hamas rockets, like this one on a house in southern Israel, is justification for its repeated airstrikes. There was a promise of a temporary reprieve in the violence on Friday, but in the end, a promise is all it turned out to be. In an unprecedented show of solidarity with the Palestinian people, Egypt's Prime Minister Hisham Khandil arrived in the Gaza Strip. At Egypt's request, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said he'd temporarily suspend the attacks for the duration of Khandil's visit. That was provided fighters in Gaza did the same. This tragedy requires an urgent intervention, serious and honest action from all sides. This is what Egypt has started to do and will continue to do until this aggression is ended, until Palestinian national unity is achieved to the interest of the Palestinian people, until lasting peace is established and the Palestinian state is set up with Jerusalem as its capital. But as Khandil spoke at a hospital treating the injured, a series of loud explosions in Gaza. And there was word of more rockets falling in Israel. Many in the densely populated Gaza Strip are now pinning their hopes on Egypt's Prime Minister to broker an end to the violence. Nadine Barber, Al Jazeera, Gaza.